This is Rick Saccone amidst the throng outside the U.S. Capitol appearing to support the wanton destruction going on inside. But in a phone interview today, Saccone says he wasn't aware those things were actually happening at the time and was speaking somewhat tongue-in-cheek. It seems like you're exhorting people to do violence. Well, it, would, it could seem like that to someone who doesn't know me. Nobody that listens to that would think when you say save the nation or drain the swamp or throw out the rhinos that you're actually going to do any physical violence. Nobody would think that. Those are figures of speech. Here in Pittsburgh, U.S. Attorney Scott Brady has asked our local FBI office to review tapes and use other methods to identify anyone from this region who may have engaged in or incited violence at the Capitol. The vast majority of people that were there were not engaged in that, did not travel for that purpose. But for those few that did, we're going to see if any of them had a Western Pennsylvania connection. No indication Saccone is under investigation, but St. Vincent College, where he's taught for 21 years, said in a statement it's severing ties with him, quote, after reviewing the video posted by Rick Saccone, an adjunct professor, we immediately commenced an investigation of the facts and the circumstances surrounding it. As a result of that investigation, Dr. Saccone has submitted and we have accepted his letter of resignation effective immediately. He will no longer be associated with St. Vincent College in any capacity. When I thought with all this misconstruing that's going on, I would do nothing. I, I love that school so much, I would do nothing to tarnish St. Vincent, so I decided it would be better if I just resigned at this time.